that yes it's true i am 21 weeks pregnant to post a pregnancy update um, today I am 41 weeks and one day which means I am over by about seven or eight days so my OB recommended an induction which I'm going to be induced today so that will be happening at 7 p.m. right now it is 12.09 I hope to have this video up today um and also a lot of you guys have been asking me to record my labor and delivery unfortunately I won't be able to um just because I'm not allowed to record so yeah right now I'm on a ball that's why I keep moving like back and forth yeah that's another thing that I've been doing I've been like walking a lot I wouldn't really say too much just because the weight kills me but I've been trying to walk a lot I bought a ball to like bounce on um, to try and naturally cause labor but none of those techniques worked um, I also tried like a few other things but you know I would have had a baby by now if all of those techniques worked baby still wants to stay in there so that is why we schedule this induction to happen today so I wanted to talk to you guys about my pregnancy um, and what I have been through, um, especially with the fact that I am overdue. I took some notes down just for me to talk about and they are on my phone. So I will be going over some things because I know that everyone does go through different things through their pregnancy. So I just want to talk about mine and what I have gone through. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I hope that's better. I just have the camera just a little bit so you can see my entire face. But anyways, if you haven't seen um, my pregnancy announcement video, I just pretty much talked about already like the first trimester things that I went through. Um, so you guys can watch that video. I'm pretty much just going to talk about like the third trimester and what I've been feeling since then. So with the third trimester um and just being closer to the due date it has gotten so much harder guys like the weight that i have to carry is super super heavy and i do get super exhausted super easily i have been taking a lot of naps and i have been eating so much more than i normally do um sorry i'm also gonna try to not bounce on the ball a lot just to not distract you and make it like a better video but i have been eating a lot more throughout my whole pregnancy i think i've gained about like 30 to 32 pounds if i remember correctly but yeah i've gained about like pretty much 30 pounds throughout the pregnancy which isn't bad i remember he said that an average a person gains 25 to 35 pounds um i can't remember but he did mention something like that Another thing that has happened to me is my swelling gets super bad. Not really so much on my feet, but on my hands. Like, in the morning, I will wake up with such swollen hands. Especially if I do, like, a lot of activity. Like, if I go for a walk, or if I'm just pretty much standing throughout the day, I will wake up with super swollen hands, which sucks because these two, my ring fingers, they do get stuck when I fold them. It's... It's super weird, but they do get like locked pretty much. They get locked. Um, right now my hands are pretty good. But yeah, that's one of the things that has happened to me. Another thing throughout my pregnancy is my confidence. I don't know. Throughout my pregnancy, I just really haven't felt as confident because of my hair texture. I've noticed that that has totally completely changed. My hair gets a lot oilier than it normally does. But yeah, that's another one of the things that I have not liked. Um... So that has pretty much brought down my confidence. Um, it's because of my hair. I know that postpartum, like throughout the six months, you will be losing hair. So we'll see if that happens to me. Cross my fingers, I don't lose a lot of hair. Um, I also do take prenatals. I kind of stopped taking my prenatals though, um, but I know that that helps. So if you're pregnant and you don't want to lose a lot of hair, take your prenatals. 
So I have talked about me eating a lot, which has included me eating a lot of sweets. Something that I really truly crave is ice cream. And guys, I have so much ice cream in the freezer that my boyfriend has bought me. Um, the freezer is truly full of ice cream. Oh, another thing that has been super, super, super hard is my weight. Like I have mentioned, since I have gained so many pounds, a lot of like belly um, weight. So it is getting up in the mornings, getting in and out of bed is the hardest thing ever. I will be needing help sometimes getting out of bed. Guys, it's super hard. And with that being said, I have to get up like every two hours, which is super crazy because I know that you feed a baby every two hours. So my body has just been like getting used to, I don't know if it's just something that like happens, but for me, I've been getting up every two hours also to use the restroom. So getting in and out of bed every two hours has been super hard, but it's something I have managed to do sort of. I'm going to miss my belly so much, but just like the getting in and out of bed, I'm actually pretty excited to not have this belly. But like I said, I'm still going to miss it. An update with baby, she has been kicking so much. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you my belly. So this is my huge belly, guys. And that is all of the weight that I have been having to carry. But yeah, as far as baby, she's just been super active. Um, she is very comfortable in there. It's probably because of the way I eat. She's just been super comfortable in there and does not want to come out. So that is why this inducement, induction, I honestly don't even know how to say that word. But that's why that is happening today. And in the beginning of my pregnancy, a lot of people have asked me, Oh, are you going to be induced? Or is it going to happen naturally? Are you going to get a C-section? My plan throughout this whole pregnancy has always been to go through birth naturally. Um, never did I think that I was going to be induced. Whenever I would get asked that question, oh, are you going to be induced? I would always say no. Um, I don't know. I felt like a lot of judgment too when being asked that question. Um, because what if I would have said yes? I know that people do get induced for health conditions. Um, in my case, it is because I'm over and I'm just trying to prevent like those birth um, difficulties from happening. I don't want to really have to go through any of that. Um, so that is why my OB recommended this inducement. But yeah, like I said, I just didn't think that it was going to be something that I was going to have to go through. Um, but yeah, it will be happening and it actually doesn't really feel as bad um, planning. It doesn't really feel as bad having to plan the birth. I really honestly thought that one day I would just feel contractions and then, oh my gosh, I have to rush to the hospital. You actually don't really rush to the hospital that fast. But yeah, so planning it, I really thought it was just going to be scarier, um, but it really hasn't been that bad with it being planned. I'm actually kind of really excited. So I kind of just like prepared myself of what I'm going to be going through um, with the fact that it is being planned. And I guess we'll just see what happens. Also, I really do appreciate everyone's best wishes, fast and safe delivery. Um, I truly appreciate those guys. So with all of this being said, I am pretty excited and I'm super nervous. And I'm just praying and hoping for the best. I really do wish that I could record the labor and delivery, but it's okay. So because I do want to have this video up today before everything happens because everyone keeps asking me, is baby here? Is baby here? Is baby here? No, baby is not here yet, but she will be eventually unless something were to happen right now. But yeah, that's the reason why I really want to get this video out there. Um, I know I haven't really replied to everyone, but I've been trying to reply to as much as everyone possible. Does it make sense? Yeah, so this is just my pregnancy update and hopefully by my next YouTube video, I will have a baby. And thank you so much guys for watching my pregnancy update video. Um, I will be posting on my social media, which is down in the description box below if you want to go ahead and follow me, add me, whatever, I'm okay with that. And thank you guys. Hope you like and subscribe to this video. And if you would like to turn on post notifications to get notified when I post more videos.